Matthew Kretlow, class of 1991. Matt Kretlow was one of the top middleweight wrestlers in school history and was a key member of teams that established Augsburg as a national powerhouse. Matt earned All-American honors three times, finishing eighth nationally at 158 pounds in 1988, fourth at 150 in 1989, and second at 158 in 1991. His teams finished in the top 10 in NCAA competition all four of his seasons, including a second place finish in 1990 and Augsburg's first national team title in wrestling in 1991. At the conference level, he won MIAC titles three times as an individual, and his teams won the conference title all four seasons. He earned 40 wins his junior year and 49 wins in his senior year, en route to setting Augsburg's career victory record with 168. A team co-captain his junior and senior year, his teams went 51-4 and four during his career, including 40 straight wins in his final three seasons. He spent two years as an Augsburg assistant coach before returning to his hometown to spend 18 years as an assistant coach at Owatonna High School. He was named Section 1 AAA Assistant Coach of the Year in 2001. He was a marketing and management major at Augsburg and has spent the past 18 years working for Federated Insurance. He has kept active playing softball, serving as a youth sports coach, and as a Sunday school teacher. Matt and his wife Arla have three children, Stephanie, Sydney, and Drew, and live in Owatonna, Minnesota. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Matthew Kretlow, class of 1991, to the Augsburg College Athletic Hall of Fame. Thanks, Paul. Uh, I would like to thank uh, who I'm assuming was Jeff Swenson for nominating me for this special award and for the committee also to affirm my place in the Augsburg Hall of Fame. What a, what a neat thing. Um, I'd like to also congratulate the fellow inductees tonight as well as thank all of you for being here tonight and taking time out of I know what are really busy schedules to attend the reception. We really appreciate it. Thanks to you guys up there too. All right, you know, it, it's always a, a really great feeling to come back to Augsburg for me because this was a place where, you know, I met so many special people and had so many special memories. Um, it, it's hard to believe, though, it's been 20 years, I'll tell you that. But, you know, you look in the mirror and you, you see the gray hair creeping in. Mitch, I don't know what to say, man. <laughs> or you lose your hair, yeah. Yeah. It's great and good. Um, you know, but, uh, you know, it, it, I, I do vividly remember, however, this uh, homecoming week around Augsburg. It's really a special week. A lot of stuff going on. I remember Kurt, ha Kurt Hobbick and I and a bunch of the other wrestlers had work study, and we worked for the maintenance crew, and we would set up, you know, events like this and be all around the campus and get a lot of work study hours in around this time of the year, as well as, you know, enjoy our last few weeks of being fat and sassy and enjoying a social life before the wrestling season started. So this is a really special time here. Um, you know, it's really hard to sit down and write an accepted speech without it being filled with thank you after thank you, but I would really be remiss if I didn't recognize some of the people who helped me achieve this award. I'll start with my family, my mom and dad, <clears throat> excuse me, Eldie and Judy, two sisters, Robin, Angie, their spouses, Eric and Paul. I have two nephews here today too, Landon and Logan. Landon even skipped a hockey practice to come here. <laughs> Pretty special, thanks guys. Um, my family's not only was my biggest fan base, but they were my support base. You know, like. Mitch said, our families put on a lot of miles, a lot of windshield time, traveling to some pretty uh, exciting places throughout South Dakota, Minnesota, Iowa, and Wisconsin to watch us travel. But we really did. We had a great, great parent base, and I think a lot of the other schools were jealous of what we had just in, you know, the support. And uh, thank you for that. And whether it was, you know, a meal for between uh, matches at a tournament, uh, whether it was a quick trip to the ER for stitches so I could wrestle the next match, 
Well, there was some chocolate chip cookies for after we were done, if there was any left. And whether it was just a phone call or a note, thank you. I really appreciate all your support. Um, second, I'd like to thank all my teammates. Uh, I don't think I lived at Augsburg without having a wrestler for a teammate. You know, some the names Troy Wand, Rosh, uh, for two years, believe it or not. And um, we had a, a little uh, house just across from Franklin where John Beatty and Kurt and I lived. And then we had a house off of Hiawatha where we had, um, you know, Nick in there for a while, and then we had Kurt and Twos and myself and Mike Peffer, and Mike said I was required to mention his name twice tonight in this speech, so Mike Peffer. <laughs> you guys are the greatest. Um, thank you to all my teammates. You know, the blood, sweat, and the tears that we shared, you know, they create bonds that they'll never be broken. And, you know, I don't see you all often because we're kind of all over as much as I would like. I still consider you my best of friends. All the things that we did, you know, the practices, the early morning runs, we would run starting in January, every morning before school as a team um, in different, different routes, uh, of which Kurt Hobbick never lost one. It's amazing, really, because I was usually the second or the third guy, and I would gauge my progress or how I did that day by whether or not I could still see him when he finished. It was, it was a pretty amazing feat. Um, the, van, the van rides slash races sometimes. Um, those were awesome. The motel rooms, you know, the really nice ones where you pull up to the front door right with your car and those paper thin walls that you could hear the TV next door. But all, all great times. Um, the trips to Florida, we started that our freshman year. We went there in motorhomes for the first year. That didn't happen again. <laughs> um, the national tournaments were awesome. And, you know, finally just all the times we broke bread and raised glasses. You know, those, those are days I'll never forget and I cherish them forever. Uh, I would also like to thank my assistant coaches, and I'm going to really just name two, uh, Scott Worley, Bobby Adams. They're not here tonight, unfortunately, but like Mitch said, these guys, um, sometimes you had to wonder. I would walk out of a wrestling practice thinking, how in the world could this be doing me any good for Bobby Adams to kick my butt through the course of an hour and a half practice up and down and all over a wrestling mat? And for Scott Worley basically to sit there and tell me how tough he was and how tough I wasn't. <laughs> but I tell you what, you know, in hindsight, you look back and I realize that they're not only teaching me how to get tough, but they were keeping me humble and instilling within me a desire to get better every day. You know, and that's something that Swentz also taught. You know, I, got, I have to say a very... Special thank you to the legend, Jeff Swenson. <clears throat> I know for a fact that I wouldn't be here tonight if it wasn't for Jeff. To be honest with you, I had a pretty mediocre, average, very average high school wrestling career. I, w I was actually um, accepted to attend the University of Minnesota. I, was, I had a roommate from Owatonna all lined up, and uh, I had no intention of continuing my wrestling career. But a few phone calls from Jeff and a, a late summer visit, my dad and I came up, meeting the likes of Mitch Hagland, uh, John Beatty, Donnie Wickman, guys who, whose high school career and credentials greatly outweighed what mine ever did. But I just felt right and um, just knew that this was the place I needed to be. So thanks for that. Um, a lot of people in the wrestling community asked me what it was like to wrestle for Jeff Swenson. And when I was young, I used to go on to this just myriad of, oh, he's the ultimate motivator. You know, he's very organized. He'll he's, he works right along with you. He'll never make you do anything that he wouldn't do himself. 
um, just all these things. And pretty soon they'd say, yeah, 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 yeah. But, you know, after time, what I realized was he, I figured out that his greatest attribute was using all those traits that I just explained and mentioned before to gain the trust and respect of his athletes to the point that they wanted to win for him more than the team. They wanted to win, I mean, excuse me, they wanted to win for him more than they wanted to win for themselves, and they also wanted to win for the team. I mean, that's what it was all about. And so I call it, he kind of made you drink the Augsburg wrestling Kool-Aid, you know? <laughs> we were brainwashed and we loved it, and I tell you what, you know, it took us a while, but finally we achieved our goal. Finally, in 1991, we did what no other Augsburg wrestling team was able to do, and we won that national title. Something that, you know, as coaches, as athletes, and as teammates, no one can ever take away from us, and we'll have forever, and it's such a special, cherished moment. Thanks, Jeff, for that. Um, last person I would like to thank is a fellow Augie, actually. Uh, I'm, I was in the second semester of my junior year, and I had missed quite a bit of school with conference, regional, and national tournaments. I was falling behind in accounting class, and I needed some help. I was pretty desperate. So who better to help than a good-looking blonde chick across the way, right? <laughs> Well, that good-looking Bond chick happened to be Arla, who happened to help me out not only in accounting, but to become the love of my life, the mother of our three beautiful children, and uh, just uh, the glue that kind of holds our whole family together. Thanks, babe. I love you. And... <laughs> Lastly, I gotta say, I gotta give something to my children. Steph said, and Drew, nobody's more proud of you guys than I am. Um, you know, I, I've probably, I've hammered him with all the Swenson stories, so they know them all. You know, the, uh, the one we run hard every day, they love that one the best. But, um, Seriously, the best piece of advice I can give you, and, and I think I've given it to you multiple times in the past, is that no matter how old you are or what you're doing, the one thing you can always control in your life is the amount of effort you put into it. There is no substitute for hard work, and your dad will always be in your corner. Okay, so I love you guys, and in closing... I just want to say I, I feel truly blessed to have found my way to Augsburg and to have had the opportunity to participate as an athlete here. I'm, I'm really, truly blessed and appreciate everything. I hope you all enjoy the evening, and God bless you.